goes off, then the challenge is accepted. There we go, loading on up. Oh, nice. Uncommon has brought some extra RNG into the arena. I don't know if this is against rules, but he's got an albino row of feather. No, we're allowed any t any item that you can wear or equip in your inventory is allowed. He's going to be using that uh, clever, clever use of the RNGs, uh, RNG. Okay, uncommon. Oh, getting caught by that puncture. So just a little bit about the builds here. Um, Lord's uh, Lord of the Dumpster is his character name. Lord Saijo is his account. He's um, a puncture trapper. Now this is a very difficult matchup um, against most builds because mm -hmm. uh, you always have to be careful not to get punctured. It does a lot of damage. It uh, limits your movement. Um, definitely a hard matchup for Uncommon. Uncommon is using dual strike, right? I mean double strike. That's right. Uncommon is uh, very comparable to uh, Grindcore's build, actually. Both are using acrobatics, using those uh, those really, really good uh, block, block penetration pen. notes. Yep. That's right, yeah. Uncommon playing it slow here, trying to get in with the flicker strike. Oh, almost gets him! Lord Syndro being too fast, though, with the quick slivers. That's right, and Lorks is a very glass cannon build, so although very. he may deal... Yes, that's right. He, even though he may deal a lot of damage to Uncommon, uh, you're going to see Uncommon destroy Lords if he manages the flicker. And he's also utilizing Smoke Mine to get uh, to reduce the accuracy of Uncommon. I think Uncommon should be using the same thing against uh, Lord Syndra here. But the most important thing, I think, in this matchup is going to be the use of Whirling Blades. Uh, when I fought against uh, Lord, of the Lord of the Dumpster, Whirling Blades was really overpowered. You can just go straight through the traps, pray to RNGs, and then the projectiles miss you because you're moving too fast. Just like with the fireball balls earlier. That's true, and we saw uh, Lords right now use a smoke mine to survive. A really good use of it. Not only does it blind uncommon, but it also teleports them to a safer place. So uh, Lords really looking to uh, place those smoke mines uh, in a very smart way. Keep in mind that uh, uncommon can destroy smoke mines. I think both players are healing up right now, just taking it easy. Uh, Uncommon's just playing very passively. I don't know if this is the right way to do it. I would uh, try and get closer with uh, Whirling Blades. That's right. Rushing of an opponent who has puncture traps at the very beginning is important. Whirling Blades might trigger the trap, but not necessarily make you hit uh, the arrow. A good use of Flicker. Wow, he oh. joins them in the smoke mine, but gets destroyed by that. It out. It's really smoke important that when he lands the Flicker, he kills them fast. He can't screw around. Keep in mind that um, uh, Uncommon's uh, anime guardian also has uh, Shackles of the Wretched, just like Grandcore. That gives him frenzy charges, so he's going to be looking to. He's going to be yeah exactly. He's going to be looking to do that flicker strike, multi strike, many many times until he dies. But uh, Lord Cedro way smarter than that, able to smoke mine away. You can see there that Uncommon with one flicker strike brought Lord Cedro down to twenty percent. Uh, That's right. And he had to get out of there, even though Uncommon was himself on twenty percent. Oh, and another clever smoke mine. Damn. Really good use. Keep in mind that if an obstacle is in the way of you and the smoke mine, you will not teleport. So having to really uh, position himself quite well. It seemed like it made his flicker just become a dud. He was just flickering thin air there. Maybe a little bit of desync. Uncoming, getting a temp chain stop, get smoke mined and trapped. Trying to close the distance. Doesn't have the frenzy charges though. No. Looking Smoke through whirling blades through. Gets self cast bleed on him and just. No. Too much attrition. Uh, he's got to yeah. rush faster than that. So uh, Lord Sabro taking the uh, very first game. Uncommon's got a lot of things he could fix. Um, there is no doubt in my mind that Uncommon could take this game. He's got the right build for it. Um, he should actually be winning these matches. Uh, I remember when I played against Lord of the Dumpster, I, ha I played super aggressive. Uh, I managed to clutch it out, or I didn't clutch it out. He clutched it out. I could have gotten it with one more round, but he nailed me. And then in the second round, I think I got some bad map RNG, and uh, he was just completely dominating me in that map. I can't remember. I think it was the... 
I think it was the same map, actually. Because of the yeah. uh, the terrain just destroyed my Whirling Blades. Mm -hmm. uh, keep in mind that each map uh, actually has their own seed, so they're sometimes randomized in terms of where the obstacles are, um, the outside borders as well are randomized. Uh, and this is one of the maps that changes quite a bit. And we saw that um, the middle there was quite open, just with empty gaps, kind of giving uh, Lord Sibro uh, a, a huge advantage because he's able to self-cast some arrows with puncture on top of placing traps. That's going to have a huge effect for him. Um, so the next map might uh, might help him a lot. All right, Uncommon is ready. I wonder what he's changed up now. Do you have any ideas what he could have done to improve his game here? Well, first of all, this map is uh, going to help Uncommon, I think, a little bit. There are some uh, choke points, but uh, he can play it smart. He can also flicker from the bottom or the top of the ledge, which is really useful. Um, but uh, in general, he just has to be more aggressive. Doesn't Can't let uh, Lord Sibro uh, play some traps everywhere. All right, Uncommon just taking up a spot in the bottom here with some bear traps. Uncommon, very clever with those bear traps. That's what really got me when we fought together. That's right, and the bear traps, keep in mind, do a lot of damage to Lords because he's quite glass cannon. So it will pin him down for a long, long time. Uh, Uncommon has to use those clever, uh, empowered bear traps. Oh, that smoke mine was beautiful. Very beautiful smoke mine, all the way back to the top and into the safety of his traps. He's bunkering down, trying to snipe him away. But uh, is uh, Lord Sidro a uh, crit puncture, puncture trapper or just uh, regular puncture? Uh, Lord actually has two versions. This one is the shadow, this is the crit version. So you'll sometimes see him puncture on common, do not too much damage. You'll be able to grant it out of it. Uh, but oh, sometimes you'll see Lords uh, get these Round crazy two. crits. Very, very scary for uncommon. But considering he's going crit, he needs to pick up a lot of nodes in a tree. And he's using some very special uniques, which leaves him at very low resists. Isn't that right? That's right. That's right. Um, Lord has told me before that his resists are mediocre at best. Um, not even capped. Not even capped. Fortunately, in this meta, it's very heavy for physical damage, not Ellie damage. Um, so he's not too scared. He can also run very, very fast using the clever use of Fox Shade for oh, damage man. and movement. That smoke mine Round just. He, he couldn't hit. land a single hit. Yeah, Lord Lord Sijo has been playing this build for a long, long time. He knows how to use that smoke mine. Get those traps out. Run around. It's really interesting also to see him use a quiver that has been volorbed for plus one arrow. So you can see Lords actually use it. Oh, and there's an attempt for I Uncommon. Very good attempt. Had the frenzy charges, couldn't deal enough damage. Round four. Fight. Keep in mind that Lords has um, potions that help him uh, instant heal on low life. So. You're going to see Lords have um, be able to pot through some of these uh, very aggressive flickers from Uncommon. Uncommon trying to slow roll it here. Lord Sidra doesn't have any traps down here. I don't know what's going on right now. Is that some desync maybe? Uncommon was I think we nothing. did see a bit of desync there. That's right. He's actually trying to heal by the Rejuve Totem on... flickering. Oh! The smoke mine once more. Tried to get uh, Lords reaching. Uh, couldn't though. Uncommon using Spectral Throw, try to work him down. Lord's actually potted right there. Twice, I believe, actually. So he's two, down two charges. But he is up in matches, so he's got more charges to use. So when you uh, end a round, how does the pot refill? Does the losing opponent get any charges? Does the winning opponent get any charges? Is it equal? No, it's definitely not equal. Um, both players do get a... Uh, a charge. Um, I don't know what the exact values are, but uh, keep in mind that the winning player will always get more charges. All right, a little bit of confusion there. All right, I think we're uh, I think we're good. Uncommon insisting nice on using right the there. arc, getting hit though with the self cast. Keep in mind that when uh, Lord Sidro uses multi-trap, he's placing three traps on the ground, and Ark will bounce. And there's Uncommon, trying to clutch it. Nope, couldn't do it. All Not right. enough. First round goes to Lord Sidro. So, so Lords is now two up. Uh, very hard for uh, Uncommon to bring it back now. Uh, really has to do significant changes oh, to yeah, maybe his round. flasks. <laughs> That's right. 
Um, so now I'm thinking we should uh, swap so you guys can get a bit of perspective on Lord Sidro. Yes, so I'll, I'll like team up idea. with Uncommon, you guys check him out. Um, because his playstyle is very unique, it's very hard to play. It looks like it's really easy for Lords. People are saying, okay, his build's really strong, so uh, it, you know it plays itself, but that's not true at all. Alright, we're just trying to get the players into the parties right now. Yeah, and in the same instance, and then we'll jump right in. Alright. You guys are ready? I'm just trying to find him here. This is going to be uh, so good when we get the spectator mode in 1.2. Oh yeah. Keep in mind that's coming in 1.2. We're going to be able to switch between the perspective of the players at any time. Uh, and spectate without even being in their party, which is quite good. Alright, this so is really going to be uh, US instance, right? That's correct, I'll be challenging you now. Uh, keep in mind, Willie's from Europe and I'm from NA, so we're able to uh, have both gateways swap back and forth to uh, help the players out. And another uh, little bug is uh, if you have D&D &D on, you can't challenge a player, um, which can be good. Um, but uh, for us, it's a little bit annoying. And here we are. Round one. All right, might be the final round here. The Lord Sidro can uncome and change it up. So here's actually a different seed from the map we've played earlier. Uh, we've seen it with Grindcore. Mm -hmm. um, the middle section wasn't there; it was lowered. Uh, so, so this is kind of good for a trapper. Yeah, this is unfortunate for Uncommon. He might get choked here into these traps. But I think so if he, he plays it slow, he he can do it. That's right. Uncommon using his bow swap, trying to get those frenzy charges for when he's ready to flicker. Flicker, he's going nothing. in very aggressive. Keep in mind the smoke mine is blinding him, making his accuracy really, really low. But Lord Sindro, is he using uh, Catsman stunned uh, uh, Frostwall? That's correct. He's got. Um, he he is vulnerable to stuns, so he uh, uses that to his advantage using the Catsman stun gem, which is available at low level PvP. Mm. Uh, keep in mind also that Frostwall will always push the two players apart from each other. So it's a very, very potent uh, way to deal with um, being stunned. Right, I'm coming, trying to swing around. Nails an arc, trying to flicker in. Oh! Actually Almost getting some damage. Out, He's really trying hard, trying to work through those punch oh. traps. Man, that blind is so strong. Very, very important. Uh, uncommon missing lords is the difference between life and death. He has to align those hits. Alright, Lord Syndra just laying on the traps, having a place to fall back on with the smoke mine. And one neat thing is, if, he's, if he flickers him while he's smoke mining, sometimes he joins them, and then when he has the traps laying at his smoke mine, he's gonna get punctured at the same time. That's very true. There is um, a, f a few frames where if you do flicker at the right time, you'll be teleported with the person all the way back to their mine. Um, that's always something that melee guys really love. And uh, Uncommon, they're taking a self-cast crit from uh, Lord Sijo. Uh, yeah. Not a good thing to, to be Unlucky. hit by. It's hard enough to be dodging the traps, but then having to dodge the arrows that he's uh, self-casting is another thing. So uh, Uncommon really having trouble to uh, penetrate those defenses. Alright, it's not looking good for Uncommon. I don't know if this is uh, a match he can win. Loaded the dumpster, just wrecking him. That's right. Uh, keep in mind that we've we've seen two players that are really really strong already. Yeah. Uh, Lords is our second w uh, place winner of the um, the season that the qualifier event that we've been doing. Yep. He's second place. Brancor being the first one. So two very hard matchup. Uncommon going really aggressive here. Oh. He's still sitting in that smoke mine though, not helping him at all. Yep. Can't there get out. Go. He's punctured, and Lords eliminates Uncommon from the tournament. Alright, that's the second match of tonight. We're going to take a short break and we're going to be right back.